hi hello welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see spring node and delay node so we are going to see two nodes before going into the video if you are not yet subscribed do subscribe now we go into the video so here I'm creating a box here so as usual what I do after creating this selecting this one I'm going to make it like uh, a bevel okay after doing bevel I have to go to FX menu set and go to mesh and apply create mesh okay or else just go to the mesh uh, shelf and apply mesh to it okay so you get this one after creating this select this one go to your attribute or give control a press control a go into mesh distribute right click on this and get the mesh distribute and here I'm going to d uh, change the distribute type to grid here okay so I want grid and I'm going to increase the distance for this okay I'm not going to use Y axis here I'm going to just increase the uh, divisions in X and Z axis so I get this and I'm going to increase in Z axis so that I get some gap here and also this one 12 and I'm going to increase it something like this okay so after creating this before applying um, delay node I have to use some animation for that I'm going to create a box here and then in the first frame I'm going to go to the cube and I'm going to key the translate okay so coming to the 26th frame I'm going to just key it again now going to the half of it like 13th frame I'm just going to move it up and I'm going to set key it okay so this is what I have selecting this one the repo okay so go into the mesh here just come down you have something called delay select it add delay node here okay so coming down here you see that something called leader leader is which leads okay so I want these uh, nodes okay so these networks to follow this animation for that this is the cube 2 okay so I have to middle mouse click and drag into this target okay when I just did it immediately you see some changes happen if I just play this one it is going to happen like this okay so it is going to move something like this okay so I'm going to select this one I'm going to press ctrl H so that go back here play this one this is what I have come back here come back to the first frame select this one go into delay first come up here so here you see delay mode modes are there if you go with normal okay so we have to change timing and offset everything and if you go follow the leader okay so this will follow the leader okay so which is nothing but the box we can just rename it as leader okay so this is what the leader so it follows the leader coming to this you have average steps if I, if I play this this is going to go something like this okay so if I just go with time steps average you can just reduce the time steps average for us so you see this got delayed a little bit and also you can just have the time variation for the network you can see that if when I just move this one you see something is coming out and something is still in the base okay so it is the time variation between uh, this movements okay this animation so if I play this so this is going to happen okay so if I play this so you see some parts will uh, move fast and some will come later okay so that can be done with the time variation if you don't want the time variation just go zero so that if I play this this is going to be even and I can just offset it also okay just go to the first frame if I play this if I just go with the offset you see I can offset the animation okay so you can just have it start from here 10 now you can see it is going to offset at 10 okay so you can just easily 
offset the animation timing so that can be done and this is uh, through the leader it is getting animated and if I just play it and uh, stop it here make sure that I'm um, I want the offset to be something zero okay so it has to start from the beginning okay so uh, coming here let me reduce the strength you see it is reducing the strength of the time delay okay and I can just reduce the randomness which will randomly reduce the strength of the, the settings of delay okay so that uh, that can be used okay according to your need and here I go with steps uh, step strength so I reduce this so if I play this this is going to happen okay so I go with something around minus 0.5 okay so this is going to cut it in the off okay so this is what happened so this this is possible with a delay okay so time delays can be done you see it's it's evenly shared okay so those things can be done I'm just going to go with uh, everything to be full okay now I'm just going to go to mesh here you find something called spring okay so as it says it's going to be a spring here so if I just play this everything is normal and you see some motion happened after the completion okay before uh, this if I just uh, stop this one okay so I can just come here I can off the spring node okay if I want I can just on it anytime okay so I can just off it and I can on it when I click on this button okay this button just coming back here if I play this you see it is going there and stops there immediately when I just go switch on the spring after ending you can see some movement happening just see this can you see that okay so that is what the spring notice okay so when I just go back here if I just increase it uh, the spring strength to be one so this is going to give you a spring action okay so if I reduce that spring action this is going to give me the normal state okay so in some cases we may go with the stiffness okay so we have a lot of settings the stiffness and damping we are, we are going to work on this okay so here we have maximum transactional so if I just go with 40 okay it is going to give me a maximum transactional of uh, the spring okay so I can reduce it also let me reduce it and going to play this so you can see something is happening okay so I'm going to reduce the damp here okay let me have 0 0.037 you see now so you see some more movements happening okay because of I reduce the damping the wetness of uh, the object get smoother okay if I just reduce the stiffness for this now let me play this one so you see there is a float happening so it's beautiful right so you can just use this I can reduce more stiffness it will give you more of motion here okay in some cases we will be in need of it if I have the stiffness to be one you see it gives you a stiff spring okay so it comes and stops here okay it goes up comes again stops here so that that is what the stiffness does okay if I reduce this and go for the damping more okay so this is going to give you something like this can you see that can you see the difference yes so that can be done if I just go more so it will give you something like this okay so you can play with the damping and the stiffness okay I'm just going to have it something 0.9 and 0.7 if I'm going to play this one this is going to give me the smooth action coming to the damping variation okay this will variate the damping uh, amount okay every single point every single points of this mesh network if I just increase this one if I play this one you're going to see there is something difference happening damping difference happening you can see that okay so you can I can go with one here so that you can see more here more of the damping here 
you can see random of damping happening here yes so those things can be done okay so those things can be done with uh, the damping variation where I go with stiffness variation also so it will give you there is a variation in stiffness also you can see something is moving after uh, the end end point but some is constant after reaching it it uh, it stays back at the uh, end point okay so I can reduce this I can use it to one here let me have one for stiffness if I play this this is going to give something like this okay you play with those uh, damping and variation now if I just reduce the damping let me see the stiffness so you can see the difference for this also you have a lot of uh, uh, options where you just go play here with your damping and stiffness okay which will be effective for your spring movement okay so if you want that to be in rotation if you want that to be in scaling everything it affects okay so coming to this one we create fall off right click on this and I'm going to go for a create okay so if I move this this is going to give me some action only in the fall off you can see that okay so those spring okay so those damping spring sp spring action stiffness okay so everything only works in this fall off okay so where you can just go there come down here double click on the spring I can just go with uh, the cube okay I can make it bigger in size if I uh, have the inner zone to be bigger let me see this is going to grow something like this okay only that part in the center part okay the fall off part will be animating with a stiff node okay so you can invert the fall off also that will give you the the inverse motion okay I'm going to uh, delete this fall off okay so coming back to this I'm going to go to the delay here I'm going to use the time variation so that it give me something like this I'm going to go more a little bit okay coming back to my spring here I'm just going to increase the variation to be 1 and the damping variation to be 1 and I'm going to increase this and this and ma maximum uh, transitional I'm going to give so you can see this so it unevenly throws every joint okay so and gives you it rest in certain place at the end of this it, it is going to rest so I'm just going to stop it somewhere here okay so I'm just going to make it something around 200 here play this one so this is going to happen okay so you can just use fall off at any time okay if you want uh, uh, this to get affected in certain place you can just go for the fall off and place it anywhere you want in this settings okay so where I just little more reduce the damping and the stiffness so which will give you a lot of motion after reaching this yes there is a lot of motion happening okay so here uh, as an extra I'm just going to select this one and go to mash and apply color for this okay go into the, the checker box okay and go for Carter here I'm just going to reduce the color here for this okay go back into the input and I'm going to randomize the color and increase the value of it so that it looks better so I'm going to press alt B to make the background darker okay change the background and here I'm going to use velocity okay if I use velocity 
there is no force applied to this so there will be no color if I play this it is going to start something like this alright so when it ends it is going to go back to zero okay so it goes back to black if I just play this so it is going back to the black can you see that yes so uh, try these things I hope uh, you like this video if you like this video do subscribe share this video with your friends if you have any comments leave your comments in the comment box thanks for watching thank you